Hello and welcome. As the graph of the coronavirus climbs in India, Maharashtra is the worst hit with over 1,300 positive cases. But as the state grapples with the pandemic, it's also battling a scandal of a VIP abuse of power to break the lockdown rules. This is the scandal that Maharashtra is grappling with. Outrage has mounted after a family of billionaires, the promoters of the scam hit Dewan Housing Limited, DHFL, were allowed to take off on a hill station vacation in the middle of a lockdown. A senior officer who sanctioned the travel in a fleet of five cars has been sent on leave. The Vadhavans are being investigated in multiple cases of financial fraud and they've been quarantined, a case booked against them. But the BJP is turning up the heat. They want the Home Minister to resign. Images that have stoked anger. Scam hit billionaires Dheeraj and Kapil Vadhavan, seen here at their vacation farmhouse, the end point of a controversial journey in the middle of a lockdown. The group of 24 drove in five cars for nearly 180 kilometres from the resort town of Khandala to the hill station of Mahabaleshwar. One part of the journey captured in CCTV footage from a toll booth showing a fleet of high-end SUVs en route. A controversial journey made possible by this man, Amitabh Gupta, Principal Secretary, Home, Maharashtra Government, now sent on compulsory leave. In his letter, Mr. Gupta said, The Vadhavan group is well known to me as they are my family friends, travelling from Khandala to Mahabaleshwar for family emergency. The letter had details of those travelling in each of the five cars. The police, alerted by the locals, tracked down the Vadhavans at their farmhouse. According to the police, the Vadhavans also took their cooks and servants. The Vadhavans have now been shifted to this government quarantine centre in the town of Panjgani. The scandal has shaken the Maharashtra government. The BJP has asked for the Home Minister of the state to resign. This can't be a decision of Amitabh Gupta. If it was his decision, immediately he would have been sacked by government. Because on Anil, the Home Minister says that the letter is issued by him and then also he just sent on leave. The Home Minister today said they have filed multiple charges against the Vadhavans. He also asked for New Delhi to sack the government official. Vadhavan ki upar IPC section 188, 279, 270, 34 and usi disaster management act section 51B or COVID-19 ke section 11 iske tahet karwai chalu hai. Scandal is not new to the Vadhavans. They have CBI lookout notices and are accused in the Yes Bank and DHFL fraud cases. They are accused of diverting at least Rs 14,000 crore from DHFL using fake borrowers. Also of alleged kickbacks taken by Yes Bank promoters in exchange for loans to DHFL. Last month, the Vadhavans cited the coronavirus pandemic to skip summons from the Enforcement Directorate for the third time in a money laundering probe against Yes Bank founder Rana Kapoor. At that time, the Vadhavans had said, health is priority. Now it appears the CBI is in touch with the police and may possibly take them into custody once their quarantine period ends. With Arvind Gunasekar in New Delhi, in Mumbai, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV. All right, so that scandal then coming, as I said, in Maharashtra as the numbers continue to go up. Let's have a look now at the overall numbers for all of India as the numbers graph continues to rise with now the numbers reaching steadily ever higher of the virus. That's the cumulative numbers now of where we stand with India. Let's now look at the states to understand what's happening with the states. Which are the states which are really at the top of the graph? And let's put that graphic up on the screen. And as you can see, Maharashtra there at over 1,300, Delhi at almost 900, Tamil Nadu over 800, Telangana 473, and Rajasthan at 463. Now remember the numbers are also climbing because India is testing more. From doing about 1,000 tests a day, it's now almost 11, 12, 13,000 tests a day. That's important to remember. But what is worrying is that there is a spike in the number of deaths. Let's look at the chart to show you the number of deaths as it increases on a daily basis. We'll come to that in just a second. But the question that many people are asking is whether the disease has spread and has reached what is called community transmission, where you don't know exactly where it's coming from. That basically people are testing positive for the virus despite no foreign travel or no contact 
with confirmed cases. This is a result of a study in the Indian Journal of Medical Sciences based on ICMR research. So, a total of 5,991 samples were tested for people with severe acute respiratory infections, which is known as SARI, S A R I. Of them, 104 samples, 1.8 percent tested positive. Now, only one positive case out of this 108 had an international travel history. 40 positive cases had no travel or no contact history and there is no data for the remaining 59 and this is what has led to the suspicion of whether there is indeed what is called community spread in India. Right, let us uh, now bring in our panel. We are joined by those who are actually in a sense at the front line of the fight against the coronavirus. Uh, Raghu Sharma, the health minister of uh, Rajasthan is on the show with us. Uh, we also have with us Dr. Tatya Rao Lahane. He is Director of Medical Education and Research in the government of Maharashtra. He is spearheading the state's fight in Maharashtra against the virus. Also Dr. Arvind Kumar, Chairman Center for Chest Surgery and Lung Transplantation at Sir Gangaram Hospital is also uh, with us. Uh, Raghu Sharma ji, let me start with you and uh, just thoda sa aap bataiye Raghu Sharma ji ki is waqt jo position hai Rajasthan mein aap usko kaise manenge kyunki ek ab ye ek sawal uth raha hai ki kya virus phail kar ek tarah se jise kehte hain community transmission mein aa gaya hai ki un logon mein bhi phail gaya hai jinhone na travel kiya hai na unka koi contact hai with somebody who's traveled ya jiska koi infection hua hai क्या ये आप देख रहे हैं राजस्थान में बिल्कुल पिछले चार पांच दिन में जो ट्रेंड हमने देखा है जी ये लगता है कि अब कम्युनिटी ट्रांसमिशन स्टार्ट हो गया है क्योंकि रामगंज में हमारा एक एक पॉजिटिव केस था अच्छा और 30 मार्च से लेके अभी आज 10 अप्रैल तक वो 180 क्रॉस कर गया टोटल एक अकेला ये जो हमारा वॉल सिटी है जयपुर का अच्छा जहां हमने कर्फ्यू लगाया ऐसे ही पहले दस दस जिलों के अंदर पॉजिटिव पॉजिटिव केसेस हमारे सामने आए थे अच्छा और नंबर भी ज्यादा नहीं था अब सडनली हमारे ट्वेंटी फोर डिस्ट्रिक्ट आउट ऑफ थर्टी थ्री डिस्ट्रिक्ट जी वी वी हैव पॉजिटिव केसेस टूडे टूडे डिस्ट्रिक्ट थर्टी थ्री रेवेन्यू डिस्ट्रिक्ट अच्छा थर्टी थ्री रेवेन्यू डिस्ट्रिक्ट यस और सबसे सिग्निफिकेंट बात ये है पहले सिम्टोमेटिक केसेस आ रहे हैं सामने जी एसिम्टोमेटिक केसेस आ रहे हैं आपको पता ही नहीं आपने जब टेस्ट किया तब पता चला कि ये तो पॉजिटिव है पहले पहले हमको उनके सिम्टम्स से जानकारी मिल रही थी आईएलआई लाइक इन्फ्लुएंजा लाइक इलनेस उनकी नजर आ रही थी जी खांसी जुकाम शरीर में जकड़न है या सूखी खांसी है जी आ रहे तेज लेकिन वो तो बात ही खत्म हो गई अब अब जो हमारे क्वारंटाइन फैसिलिटी में जिन लोगों को हमने एडवाइस किया उन लोगों के अगर रैंडम सैंपलिंग की गई जी तो एसिम्टोमेटिक केसेस आर पॉजिटिव ना हो ये आप एक्चुअली दो इम्पोर्टेंट चीजें कह रही है वी मस्ट फ्लैश दिस आप दो चीजें कह रहे हैं कि आप कह रहे हैं राजस्थान में एक आपको लग रहा है कि कम्युनिटी स्प्रेड हो गया है कम्युनिटी स्प्रेड ऐसा लगता है ऐसा लग रहा है इट अपियर्स दैट इज कम्युनिटी स्प्रेड इन राजस्थान दूसरी बात आप कह रहे हैं कि ए सिम्टोमेटिक मतलब जिनको कोई सिम्टम्स नहीं है जो नॉर्मल वायरस से जुड़े जाते हैं वो भी इन्फेक्ट हो रहे हैं और ये बढ़कर काफी डिस्ट्रिक्ट में आ चुका है इस वक्त जी जी तो ये बताइए कि अब इसको किस तरह से आप चैलेंज इसका क्या ये बड़ा चैलेंज है आपके लिए क्योंकि लॉकडाउन के अब कुछ दिन ही बच चुके हैं फोर्टींथ आ रहा है आप क्या चाहेंगे जैसे कई स्टेट्स पंजाब ने ओरिसा ने अप्रैल थर्टी तक लॉकडाउन को एक्सटेंड कर दिया है क्या लॉकडाउन एक तरीका है देखिए लॉकडाउन भी एक तरीका हो सकता है आज राजस्थान के चीफ मिनिस्टर ने डिफरेंट सेक्शन ऑफ द सोसाइटी होटेलियर्स भी है जिसमें बिजनेसमैन भी है जो हमारे अलग अलग सेक्टर में जो काम कर रहे लोग 
उनसे वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग करके उनकी ओपिनियन ली कि क्या किया जाना चाहिए इन परिस्थितियों में क्योंकि केसेस हमारे इसलिए बढ़ रहे हैं कि हम टेस्ट की नंबर ऑफ टेस्ट हम बढ़ाते जा रहे हैं आज हम 1500 टेस्ट पर डे कर रहे हैं हमारी कैपेसिटी हमने बिल्डअप की है ढाई हजार टेस्ट पर डे करने की जितने हम टेस्ट कर रहे हैं उतने ही पॉजिटिव केसेस सामने ज्यादा आ रहे हैं अच्छा दिस इज क्वाइट वरिंग आप इस वक्त टेस्ट कर रहे हैं ये कुछ लाहने साहब इज ऑल्सो विद फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र बिकॉज जितने आप टेस्ट करते हैं इट्स अ पर मिलियन क्योंकि हर स्टेट का पॉपुलेशन अलग है तो द ऑल इंडिया एवरेज वी आर टेस्टिंग समवन डन द डेटा क्रंचिंग जेम्स विल्सन 95 पर मिलियन पॉपुलेशन इंडिया टेस्ट कर रही है राजस्थान 214 पर मिलियन टेस्ट कर रही है विच इज ऑलमोस्ट डबल द नेशनल एवरेज तो आपका टेस्टिंग काफी हाई है पहले आपके नंबर्स लो थे लेकिन अब आपके नंबर्स बढ़ रहे हैं राजस्थान में भी नंबर्स जब बढ़ जब रहे हैं पहला जब पहला टेस्ट हमने दो मार्च को इटली के टूरिस्ट के रूप में रिपोर्ट हुआ जी उस वक्त हमारे पास टेस्टिंग फैसिलिटी नहीं थी जी और उनके सैंपल्स हमने पूना वायरोलॉजी लैब में भेजा जी एक एक दिन बाद उस टेस्ट की रिपोर्ट आई तभी हमारे चीफ मिनिस्टर ने ये डायरेक्शन जारी किए कि हमको यहाँ टेस्टिंग फैसिलिटी डेवलप करनी है तो इस एक महीने के पीरियड में राजस्थान में आज हम कह सकते हैं कि ढाई हजार की कैपेसिटी पर डे टेस्टिंग की हमारी आप कर रहे हैं एंड दैट्स व्हाई अब आप राजस्थान बढ़कर आप गिर चुके थे नाउ यू आर एट 463 केसेस एटलीस्ट ये हमारा डेटा है शायद आपके पास उससे और भी करंट होगा नाउ यू में करेक्ट इट नाउ इट हैज गोन अप टू 520 520 राजस्थान हैज गोन अप टू ओके सो देन द डेटा दैट वी हैव इज देयर इज अ स्लाइट लैग लाहने साहब आप से द सेम क्वेश्चन टू यू यू are also seeing evidence of community transmission in maharashtra nay no, the what i listen from them is a uh, the about the community tra transmission listen hmm. here the we are doing there about 320 uh, test per million it means our tests are increase we are doing there about 3600 test per day right and uh, today there is a increase of 210 cases and 13 death Hmm. but we have got the uh, local transmission this is not up till now uh, proved that it is a community transmission it is definitely in few uh, hot spot there is a local transmission hmm. and we have found found out that 84 places local transmission is more so we are now going to uh, have a like a curfew like uh, st uh, state there hmm. in that 84 uh, places in mumbai uh, so it is much more but another thing what sir was telling was correct it is also now spreading in the districts in yes. maharashtra also yes. now almost uh, except two three districts it is in all the districts it is spreading in all the districts but you are still saying that it's spreading due to local transmission uh, uh, lane saab you are not seeing evidence of people who have had no travel and no contact with anyone who's been infected or who who could have been who have had exposure to someone who's infected you are not seeing any evidence of people like that getting infected no. no 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 what what we are getting in the villages what has happened because of the lockdown the people from pune nagpur and mumbai they have gone to the villages right and the everybody is uh, is seen the contact without contact up till now we are not uh, having any cases exceptional there may be two three cases where they are they are not knowing about the contact to whom they met where they traveled okay but the maximum cases we can uh, have the contacts accordingly we are getting the cases sir Dr uh, Arvind Kumar uh, what do you make of it because the ICMR uh, report is pointing to the fact that of the samples they tested about 6000 samples 108 which is about just under 2% tested positive but within that 104 almost 40 positive cases had no travel contact history so that was the indication which the Indian Journal of Medical Research indicated could be community transmission uh, the government is still not fully in that sense accepting or owning up to in a sense its own data uh mr shrinivasan how i would analyze this is that uh, what exactly is the definition of community transmission say there is a person who comes to a community hmm. he has exposure history he becomes positive 
and then he spreads in that local community now somebody comes in contact with that community he goes away there is no way under the earth that you can have 100% contacts traced for 100% of your suspects i right. mean logistically it's not possible so when you look at these kind of people there will be some transmission now imagine more than 2000 people from the nizamuddin uh, incident hmm. have traveled across the country they have traveled by trains by buses by flights to different places right. then it was detected police went to trace them yeah. now before they were traced and quarantined they have come in contact with the community members yeah. so if you say that community transmission means a rampant kind of a transmission across the country right. well we are not yet that stage and i pray to god that we never reach that I... stage but if it means locally yeah. people infecting their local community certainly there is unequivocal evidence that infected people are infecting their communities locally so right. that way community transmission is there okay in that sense it is but jahan tak test ka sawal hai uh, 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 main aapse puchna cha raha tha raghu sharma ji aapke paas test hain uh, testing kits जितने आपको जरूरत है आपको मिल रही है आईसीएमआर से आ, आज आज मैंने केंद्रीय स्वास्थ्य मंत्री जी से वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग हुआ था हाँ। हमारे पास अभी तो है लेकिन हमको रैपिड टेस्टिंग किट चाहिए राइट हमने 10 लाख का ऑर्डर दिया आईसीएमआर ने जिनको अप्रूव किया है उन्हीं से हमने 10 लाख रेपिड टेस्टिंग किट मांगी है अच्छा हालांकि रेपिड टेस्टिंग किट और रेपिड टेस्ट वो फाइनल टेस्ट नहीं कहला सकता हाँ। फाइनल टेस्ट तो हमको पीसीआर के माध्यम से लेबोरेटरी में कराना पड़ेगा लेकिन हमको एक मालूम पड़ सकता है हालात का कि भाई कितना स्प्रेड हुआ है स्टेट के अंदर तो आपने एक लाख का ऑर्डर किया है ठीक है द बिग अदर क्वेश्चन इज दस लाख दस लाख ओके द बिग क्वेश्चन ऑफ कोर्स इज अबाउट दो सेफ्टी वेयर does india have enough safety wear do the states have enough safety wear i'm going to ask these gentlemen in just a second but before that i want to go to a news break by my colleague arvind gunasekar arvind gunasekar joins me as we go into this exclusive about whether india has enough safety wear remember the government keeps saying that all is well they claim that they have the numbers and there is enough coveralls there are enough gloves there are enough masks to go around and that the doctors are able to meet it but there are some questions about whether there is enough safety wear let me just come to arvind in just a second but let me just go across to both uh, raghu sharma ji and dr tatya rao lahane on that question first डॉक्टर लाहाने एंड रघु शर्मा जी रघु शर्मा जी क्या सेफ्टी वेयर पीपीई जिसको कहते हैं पर्सनल प्रोटेक्टिव इक्विपमेंट उसमें क्या कमी मिल महसूस हो रही है नहीं अभी तो हमारे पास पीपीई किट्स है अवेलेबल जी एन नाइनटी फाइव मास्क भी है वेंटिलेटर भी हमारे पास है लेकिन अगर फ्यूचर की संभावनाओं को देखते हुए हम लोगों को ज्यादा पीपी किट्स की जरूरत पड़ेगी ज्यादा एन मास्क की जरूरत पड़ेगी और ज्यादा ही वेंटिलेटर्स की जरूरत पड़ेगी और उसके लिए हमने कोविड 55 हॉस्पिटल्स को डेडिकेटेड हॉस्पिटल्स के रूप में हमने तय चिन्हित किया है अभी राजस्थान के अंदर अगर कोई भी प्रॉब्लम आती है फ्यूचर में तो उसको फेस करने के लिए उन हॉस्पिटल्स में आईसीयू के बेड उनमें आइसोलेशन के बेड उसमें वेंटिलेटर्स की जितनी रिक्वायर्ड संख्या उनको रखना पूरा ये तमाम तैयारियां हमारी है ओके okay. let me just go across to arvind gunasekar with that exclusive arvind now you've gone through fresh data which finds quite shockingly that less than 1% of safety wear has actually been delivered 
Yeah, Vasu, NDTV has accessed a document that shows the status of PP procurement as on date. The document that we have accessed shows that uh, the government has actually signed a contract uh, order for purchase of 70 lakh personal protective equipment, which is a safety gear for doctors with around 39 domestic suppliers. Of the 70 lakh uh, personal protective equipment for which the government has signed a uh, purchase order with 39 uh, domestic suppliers, only 56,000 PPs have been supplied as on date. This is not even one percentage, less than one percentage. Only 0.8 percentage has been supplied as on date. Just a meager number of 0.8 percent has been supplied as on date out of 70 lakh PPEs that the government has signed a purchase order with 39 suppliers. This okay, is personal is protective equipment. When we come to the N95 mask, yes. Yeah, Vasu, well, so when we come to the N95 mask, yes. out of one crore N95 mask for which the government has signed a purchase order with three companies, only 20 lakhs P uh, N95 masks have been supplied as on date, which comes to somewhere around 20 lakhs. So why is that only a meager number has been supplied as on date? So when we spoke to all these suppliers, what they are citing is that yes. they are saying that they got the purchase order only at the last minute and the lockdown is, is, so is making, is having an impact, these are very impact significant. on their production. Right, these are significant numbers. Overall, you're saying that as far as the coveralls are concerned, 70 lakh ordered, only 56,000, that is just 0.79% delivered. Of 1 crore mask ordered, only 20 lakhs delivered. And that all these companies, 39 companies that orders have been placed, only 5 were before the lockdown. 24 were placed, of the 39 orders were placed this month in April. Yeah, well, so that's what most of the companies, most of the suppliers are saying that of these 39 uh, suppliers for, to whom the government has signed this order, only five uh, purchase orders have been given before the lockdown. That is, before March 24th, the purchase order was signed with only five companies. Rest 34 companies have been given the purchase order post the lockdown. Right. Of this 34, 24 companies have been given the purchase order only this week. That is from April 1st to April 10th. As on date, 39 companies of which only five companies have been given purchase order prior to the lockdown and that's what most of the suppliers are saying that that is having an adverse impact regarding their supply. We did ask for an explanation, we did ask for a response from the health ministry, though the health ministry did not give us a, a clear answer regarding why, what was the reason for the delay in raising the purchase order but they have, uh, they have confirmed our news break saying that they have approached 39 suppliers, domestic suppliers for PPE procurement and also they have got 20 lakh uh, N95 masks but no answer how they are going to speed up the procurement in the coming days. All right, Arvind. So, of course, uh, this is a story we've been relentlessly following about the fact that the government may have delayed, in fact, seriously delayed placing orders leading to an acute shortage of safety wear, which is why now we're having to import or even get donations from China. But let's listen in to what the health secretary had to say when asked about the problems with safety wear. Today, the two months ago, the state level of the state was available in the PPs available. Thay, उसके दुगने पीपीज यानी कि उतने ही क्वांटिटी में पीपीज हमने प्रोक्योर कर कर आज हमने सप्लाई भी स्टेट लेवल पर कर दिए हैं तो हमने पिछले दो महीने में करीब 20 लाख मास्क स्टेट्स को एडिशनल प्रोवाइड किए हैं और इसके साथ ही प्रोक्योरमेंट शुरू हो चुका है और हम आने वाले समय में समझते हैं कि एन नाइन्टी मास्क को लेकर भी किसी टाइप की कोई दिक्कत फील्ड पर नहीं होगी वेंटिलेटर्स में इससे पहले बता चुका हूं करीब फोर्टी वेंटिलेटर्स का ऑर्डर भी हमने प्लेस कर दिया है